All right, guys, so CPI numbers just came out 9.1%, highest inflation the US has ever reached over the last 40 years, guys. We will talk about that in a minute. Uh, I will give you my next price targets for Bitcoin. I will also explain you exactly how I'm planning to trade this type of market move in the next couple of days, guys. So make sure to stick with me until the end. And uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, let's take a quick look on this picture right here, guys. You can see. Um, the inflation data is out, it reached 9.1%, the highest the US has seen in the last 40 years. And here you can see in the, the charts, guys, in the 15 minute time frame, basically, you can see that the price dropped from 20K all the way down to about $19,200 in the 15 minute time frame. So there is definitely a lot of selling pressure going on right now. And I will explain you exactly what I'm looking out for right now in the immediate short term for the price, guys. So first of all, before we are getting into today's video, guys, make sure to check out BitGet down below in the description and in the pinned comments, guys. They are giving away one Bitcoin and all you have to do for that is just to sign up on BitGet, guys. Complete your first time futures trading and 100 people will share one Bitcoin, guys. So make sure to check the link down below. And I would say, let's take a quick look on the chart, guys. And as you can see right here also, something I wanted to talk about real quick, guys, on whale trades. Um, we can see basically, um, yeah, it makes sense. Whales that are currently trading, guys. <laughs> oh my God, bro. And as you can see, guys, there are people who shorted already Bitcoin 25 or 30 minutes ago with about $1 million, for example, right here and about $1.2 million BTC short at around $19,200. Then another short right here, uh, approximately $1.4 million Ethereum shorted around $1,018, guys. So as you can see, there are definitely a lot of people shorting the market right now and I think it definitely makes sense, guys. Every Everyone was expecting already high inflation numbers and as you can see right here guys the price came down like I said all the way from $20,500 sorry $20,000 guys all the way down to approximately $19,200 guys so do I think that the prices will drop lower from here uh, yes I think so guys especially right now um, after this type of inflation numbers, I believe that the prices are dropping lower from here. And um, I think we are going to touch probably, let me pull out a clean chart real quick guys in the daily time frame. So I believe that we are probably going to touch, um, give me just one second guys, right here. So let me show you real quick. This is the chart guys, I'm looking out for right now. So. Let me explain you real quick, guys. You can see that we have some type of horizontal support right here in the daily time frame. You can see I'm currently looking at the daily time frame, guys. You can see that we have some kind of support over here around $19,200, guys, right? You can see we are touching this area for a second, for a third time basically already. And we touched this area already right here for one time. Look at this, guys. We touched this area right here for one time, right here for one time, guys. And right now we are touching it for the third time. So basically it seems like there is a lot of horizontal support for Bitcoin right now around 18,000. Look at this, 18,000, let me check, $18,850 guys. This is the area right now for Bitcoin. And this is potentially the biggest horizontal support for Bitcoin right now. And we have definitely to hold this area guys. So first of all, I think as long as we are able to hold this horizontal support right here, guys, let's say around $18,900, this horizontal support, guys, I think we could actually see a potential continuation setup still all the way up to about 25, 28K or so. Because you have also to understand, guys, this is also something I want to talk about real quick. You have to understand, guys, that all this inflation stuff and CPI numbers are already also priced in at the same time. All right. So you have to understand that people already thought that inflation numbers are coming higher, uh, uh, higher than expected again. And this is why right now, maybe the bottom could be still already in right here around $17,800 guys, you can see around $17,700 to about $17,800 is this previous bottom right here on Bitcoin a couple of weeks ago, guys, basically, uh, sorry, a couple of days ago. 
um, yeah, four weeks, three weeks ago, the bottom could be still already in around $17,500 in my opinion. And right now, if we are able to hold this horizontal support right here on Bitcoin, guys, around 19K, we could still see, like I said, already a potential continuation set up to about 31,000 or maybe 30K or so, guys. Otherwise, worst case scenario, in my opinion, right now would be a potential sell off below 19k for example into this area right here if you are breaking this horizontal support right here guys then we can actually go into a short position maybe so let's say for example we are breaking below 19k guys and we are going into this range then we could maybe open a short position and then we can speculate for a potential drop to about 15k or so guys also you have to understand, guys, that the um, bit, that Bitcoin is actually following the traditional markets right now, guys. Right. So don't forget that also, and always take a look, guys, what the traditional market is doing. All right. So if the S&P 500, you can see right here the S&P 500, guys. If the S&P 500 will continue to sell off. Let's say we are going down from here all the way to about $3,500 or so. Uh, sorry, to about $3,400, $3,500 into this zone. Then we are potentially entering a recession, guys, right? And if we are going into these zones right here, then just be careful with longing Bitcoin, guys, because then if Bitcoin is going to follow the traditional markets, guys, I think the worst case scenario right now for Bitcoin would be actually a potential sell-off to about maybe 17 16 or 15 thousand dollars or so guys let's see how things are playing out for now like i said already i'm looking at the daily time frame right now and i'm just trying uh, i just hope that we are going to hold this horizontal support right here sorry this horizontal support right here guys around eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars Otherwise, if we are breaking the support, guys, and we are going to see a candle closing somewhere in this area, then, of course, I would definitely consider to go maybe into a potential short position and then speculate for a potential sell-off to about $15,700. But also, at the same time, it could be a potential long opportunity, guys, right? So, if you are going into a long right now and you are taking profits, let's say, about 22, 23K, this could be also a nice risk-reward ratio for potential long setup guys so don't forget that anyways guys if you want to trade bitcoin or altcoins um especially with leverage guys and also with um and also spot guys make sure to use the link down below sign up on bitget guys if you use my link down below you will get up to four thousand one hundred and sixty three dollars in bonuses guys go to the reward center right here and then claim your free money down below guys if you want to trade bitcoin with up to 125x in leverage you can also check out copy trading where you can just follow other people and just make some passive income guys and uh, yeah, with that being said, if you appreciate this type of content, guys, let me know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, like I said, guys, down below. And also check out my free Telegram channel. Um, the link is also down below, guys. And also, uh, I will always keep you updated with my live streams, with my videos, with my long and short positions down below in the Telegram channel, guys. It's completely for free. If you want to get my trade setups, check out Patreon down below. With that being said, guys, thank you all for tuning in and see you for another Bitcoin update later on my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.